Hello and welcome to The Big Fight. Are we seeing the death of the global capitalist order as we've known it for the last 20 to 30 years? Or to be more specific, are we seeing the death of the policies that Ronald Reagan, Margaret Thatcher and others really made, made so popular? That at any rate was a subject that we'd set ourselves out to discuss today and we will still discuss it. But also, given all that's been happening in the markets, there are other questions that come up. Is this the death of everyone's personal portfolio, personal wealth? Where are the stock markets going to end? So lots of questions ready to talk about today, and we've got a fantastic panel to help us uh, uh, doing just that. Let me start by introducing those who are with us um, uh, here, here in, in the studio. Paranjoy Guhat, great to have you with us. Uh, as, as always, Rajiv Bajaj, Managing Director, Bajaj Capital, who's often been with us to tell us what a small investor should do. And I think they're really waiting to, 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 to hear from you at, uh, at some level. Uh, Ashok Desai, one of the country's best-known economists, consulting editor of Business World as well, so wonderful to have you with us. Jayati Ghosh has got strong views on the global capitalist order and will no doubt be shedding side light on them. Also, where you think the final P-E ratio of the Sensex will end up, but perhaps less so, but, but we'll, we will ask you that as well. And then we are being joined by um, probably some of the most influential voices on the Indian stock markets. It gives me great pleasure to welcome, perhaps for the first time that I know of in a program of this nature, Madhusudan Kela, who is, um, uh, of course, the head of equity investments at Reliance Mutual Funds. When people ask, where is the smart money moving, they quite often are asking, what is Madhu doing with the money? And, and so, Madhu, it's great to have you with us on this program. Devina Mehra, Director and Chief Global Strategist, First Global. Wonderful to have you with us uh, as well, Devina. Now, you are among the people who have been saying that the markets are headed for a slide. And you've been saying it for a very long time. So I guess this is your chance to say I told you so and also to tell us uh, you know, where the markets are going to move from here. Also joining us, Atul Kumar Anjan, uh, National Secretary of the Communist Party of India, who will no doubt be saying I told you so in a slightly different manner, saying I told you that all this capitalism and all of this was a lot of bunk, but Atul will be hearing from you as well. Thank you all so much um, uh, for joining us. Madhu Kela, let me start with you. The big question that I think everyone is really wondering right now is the, the extent and the savagery with which global financial markets are falling and that the stock market is falling. Is this just the, is, are, we, are we near the end or are we not near the end? I think it's very difficult to comment on uh, that, Vikram, because you know things are changing uh, so fast and uh, we are living in a very, very dynamic world. But uh, I must tell you that you know, authorities all over the world are extremely concerned and they are taking whatever steps which are required to stabilize uh, the, uh, the financial mess which uh, the world has got into. And I am sure you know, uh, the, the authorities will go to the extent possible to, uh, to make sure that the systems in the financial world are functioning properly. Uh, but again, uh, uh, am I say, can I say with authority that we have made a bottom in the world financial market? That's a very difficult one to call today. Okay, but if people are saying that, look, this could be a one-year, two-year apocalypse, you know, Great Depression, those sort of scenarios, do you think it's still are, are, are those very real possibilities or are those fears overstated? I think, you know, Vikram, even if the world stabilizes, uh, one thing is for sure that uh, if we are going to have, uh, you know, stabilization time for maybe a year, maybe two years, maybe one and a half year, I don't know how long. But, you know, uh, the kind of wealth loss which the world has seen, which, which should be close to, uh, you know, 15 to 20 trillion dollars in the last uh, one year, obviously for us to really enter in a bull market, it will take time. Devina, let me toss across to you. How do you see the world right now? And I know... Um, uh, Rachi Shankar Sharma right here on this program said memorably a year, year and a half ago that you know this is uh, all going to come unstuck at some point. Now of course the market has still not gone back to the levels at which he said it then. But what's your sense of where we are now? See, I mean, uh, there are like two parts of the story. If you look at the global scenario we'd said about a year ago once the problem started, to me it appeared that we could head back somewhere to the depression era. But you know, even uh, if you'd asked me then that uh, would all five uh, major investment banks on Wall Street uh, no longer exist a year later in, in the same form. I would not have put a very high probability, probably not even a 1% probability to that. But that happened. There's been a great unraveling of the financial system, and not just in the U.S. It's been pretty much across uh, Europe, in large parts of Asia as well. 